Good afternoon, this is Brian. Today is a crispy, chilly December 29th. It's a Sunday, 2019. And this is another episode of Spotlight on Trees. Today's focus is on a plant that's generally more of a shrub, but can reach tree size. This is called the Birch Leaf Circocarpus, also known as Birch Leaf Mountain Mahogany. This is Circocarpus betuloides, variety betuloides. It is a very, very common shrub in low to mid elevation mountains and foothills. Now the name betuloides and birch leaf allude to the shape of the leaves being more or less birch-like. So betuloides is Latin for birch-like and this is birch-like, the leaves. It is in the rose family, the rosaceae. So it's actually somewhat related to roses. It's also related to apples, peaches, plums, cherries, chemise, a very common chaparral shrub here. Now, this is something you will see a lot, and I repeat a lot, here in the Santa Ana and Elsinore Mountains, where I am right now, I'm not that far from Elsinore Peak, which is just off South Main Divide Road. You can see Elsinore Peak over there, kind of. There's a little better view of it there. So I'm on top of this unnamed little summit and came across this beautiful birch leaf circocarpus and just had to record a spotlight video. Now, this can run the gamut from a small shrub to a small tree. And true to shrub form, as it typically is, it's generally going to be multi-trunked, as you can see here, with gray, light gray bark that upon maturity sometimes does crack into minor furrows. As you can see here, it does crack into some minor, fur minor furrowing, and which is common with most chaparral shrubs as this is generally a chaparral species. I'll go into that a little bit more in detail momentarily, but as uh, true with just about all chaparral species of shrubs and small trees, the leaves are small. It helps retard ridiculous amounts of evaporation, which is very common in chaparral shrubs. Now, right here is kind of like a little clearing. Uh, probably, this used to be probably an old fire break or something. But this one seemed to persist for a long time in this very disturbed area. I've seen these as low as maybe a few hundred feet above sea level to as high as well over 6,000 feet. I've seen it up at least as high as 6,007, 6,800 feet. I believe it might be found as high as seven, maybe 8,000 feet, but I have not seen it at that level. Usually at that level, it's it's relative curly circocarpus or curly mountain mahogany, which is circocarpus letifolius variety intermontanus, which is not featured in this episode. There are none around here, none that I know of grow here in the Santa Ana and Elsinore Mountains. So, as you can tell, shrub is quite upright the branches, uh, branches coming from the main trunks, they ascend, and so it has a quite an upright appearance, which is very common for birch leaf circocarpus. And I've seen these get as tall as probably close to 25 feet tall in certain, uh, in some places. In fact, uh, places to see really large curly, I mean, really large birch leaf circocarpus would be along. Highway 38 coming up from Mentone, going up towards Angeles Oaks. Uh, I think it's near the Thurman Flats area, Thurman Flats picnic area, somewhere near there, along, not that far from Mountain Home, the community called Mountain Home. And there's a big wash, the, I believe that's the uh, Mill Creek Wash, and there are some very tall shrubs that are probably about two to almost three times as tall as this one and with very large trunks on them. I've never actually physically been down to them, but passing by them in the mountains, I see them, see them all the time when I drive up. So 
They can get quite large, and there are places in the San Gabriel Mountains, I'm sure, where they get equally as large. So, it's quite an attractive shrub. Now, what you won't see, unless I could find some old dried up ones, are the seeds. This plant has some interesting looking fruits, which are basically akinis, which are little seeds, but with a big feathery style that sticks out. So it looks like the plant's got a bunch of little feathers. Sometimes they call it pipe cleaner, little pipe cleaners, because that's what it looks like. So when this shrub is in full seed, the shrubs, when they're backlit, have a very hauntingly beautiful silvery appearance. I'm trying to see if I can find any old seeds. Maybe I can show you what they look like. Which doesn't have it, unfortunately. This is uh, the end of December, so these plants have already shed their seeds for the year. So, chances of finding any seeds left over are probably slim to none. But yeah, the seeds look like little silvery feathers. And these tend to produce very heavily. Very heavily. So if you're hiking in the chaparral, and he's in, uh, say, depending on the elevation, of course, lower elevations, probably towards late summer and early fall, and you, and you, see, a, and you see these really silvery shrubs that are upright like this, chances are you're looking at a birch leaf circuit carpus. Um, it does have another relative that's found probably not too far from here. It's called San Diego Mountain Mahogany, or San Diego Circuit Carpus. And that's Circuit Carpus minutiflorus, which this can be confused because the leaves are somewhat similar in shape. Kind of similar. But the San Diego ones tend to be a little, sh a little bit shinier. And it's like these ones kind of curve up at the mid-rid just a little. I believe the San Diego ones curve down a little bit. These can be very easily confused with one another. It probably would take a little bit more of a trained botanist, but this definitely is a birch leaf. Definitely a Circocarpus betuloides ready betuloides. And now talking about habitat, I've been mentioning about the chaparral, the chaparral. Well, chaparral is only one place where these are found. You can find them. I've seen them in coastal sage scrub near La Habra Heights. There's a small stand of them in Powder Canyon along this use trail up on a ridge line. Well, actually, you have to kind of go off trail a little bit to see them because there was one specimen along the trail, but off the trail you can see some specimens mixed in with some lemonade sumac and stuff like that. So, is it generally it's a chaparral species. Very common. Very common in our mountains and foothills. Very common. This is a plant you will come to see a lot if you hike in chaparral and low to mid elevations. But you can also find it in oak woodland uh, and mixed in with conifer forest. I've seen it mixed in with Jeffrey pines, white firs, and stuff like that. And you could find this, you know, the Powder Canyon area is maybe about 15 miles from the ocean. And you can find this on the desert slopes of the San Gabriels, sometimes sharing the slopes with Circocarpus latifolius the uh, curly mountain mahogany. So, very widespread. This goes up the Sierras. Um, this even lives in other states. I believe this might be found in Arizona, I believe. I'm not sh really too sure about the outside of California distribution, but I do believe this is an interstate species. And it's found up the Sierra. I've seen it a heap ton in the Sierras as well, driving up the 190 from Springville and Porterville. You'll see a heap ton of this driving up. So it goes up the Sierras. I'm not sure if it goes into Oregon. And I'm pretty sure it's found in the coast ranges. If you find out differently, because I didn't really research the distribution, but this is a very widely distributed shrub here in California. Like I said, you can find it in other states. There is some confusion as the as to the taxonomy of this plant because some people refer to this as Circocarpus montanus. Some people refer to this as Circocarpus montanus. See, I'm not sure if there's a separate species that should be represented as Circocarpus montanus, but I have heard this being referred to as Circocarpus montanus 
and the hairless varieties being variety globair. But, as far as I know, the current, uh, I believe the current Jepson manual would uh, list this as uh, birch leaf or circuit carpus betuloides variety betuloides. Now, there is another variety somewhere in the Channel Islands. Not sure exactly what island, but I believe it's supposed to be pretty rare, but I don't know too much about it. It's uh, circuit carpus betuloides variety blank AI. I believe it's B L A N C H A E. B L A N C H E A E. Blanc A I. I always pronounce my A E as I. Closer to Latin. But, uh, I believe that's a, a variety you'd find in the Channel Islands. If it's in the Channel Islands, chances are it probably has a larger leaf. I've never seen it. I've never seen an Arborita. Never seen it before, so I don't know much about that variety. But, I'm very familiar with variety Betuloides, which is the one right here. So, it's a beautiful shrub. It's in the rose family, the Rosaceae. Again, small leaves, very reminiscent of an alder or a birch. So, if you if you're in the lower elevations in the fall, look for the silvery, feathery seeds. If you're in the higher mountains, it's more like in the middle of summer when you're going to see it. So, next time you're hiking in the mountains, the foothills, keep an eye out for this beautiful shrub. I have been lucky enough to uh, uh, order, I've ordered seeds online because I try to avoid collecting seeds <laughs> as much as possible. But I've actually ordered these and had them come, had them germinate, but they didn't get very far. But yeah, they were starting to get their little birch leaf shaped leaves. I was so excited. It's a beautiful shrub. Very extraordinarily beautiful plant. Um, before I end this, I do want to make a note about its leaf retention. Meaning, is it evergreen? Is it deciduous? Now, birch leaf circuit carpus is one of those plants that sometimes can't be defined strictly as evergreen, as it is generally classified as evergreen. In other words, the leaves are persistent. The shrub is with leaves throughout the year. That's what evergreen means. And that's distinct from conifers. You know, conifers, some conifers are deciduous. But birch leaf circuit carpus generally has persistent leaves year-round. The, there are varying degrees of that, however. I have seen them where they lose some of their leaves during very dry periods, and sometimes maybe a little bit during the winter. I've never seen them fully leafless either, so they're not never, to my knowledge, ever fully deciduous. But generally semi to fully evergreen would be probably the best way to categorize the birch leaf circuit carpus. Again, if you're hiking in the mountains and foothills of California, keep an eye out. This is quite a beautiful shrub. A nice little treat to find while hiking. So there it is. Circuit carpus betuloides, variety betuloides, the birch leaf circuit carpus. This was Brian. Another spotlight on trees. And I use that term loosely because I do spotlight shrubs, as you can see. Enjoying a day in the beautiful Santa Ana mountain range. I'll see you on the next episode, hopefully soon, on Spotlight on Trees.